So I'm an ag science teacher here at the high school, and uh, we, of course, teach a lot of animal science courses as well as our shop classes, ag mechanics related. And, just kind of implemented some of the modern technologies in our projects that we're doing now. To help the environment and our economy and so on, there's a lot of things going this direction. It'll go down without the PTO. Sure. Of course, because grabs leave the pressure off. And what it took us a while to, to uh, find a tractor that we could uh, work with. And uh, once we got that taken, taken care of, then it was just basically looking for the right motor and uh, we've had several uh, companies step up to the plate and donated for, uh, various forklifts. We hope to get more. Oh yeah, this you're doing great. Kind of where we're at right now. Okay. My idea was to get the community involved and ask them to recycle their battery products here at the high school. Uh, they took off and ran with it and we are now buying their junk batteries from them. Rather than constantly trying to get individual companies or people to donate money towards our projects. I hope to uh, keep this recycling program going year round to where we build credit uh, with Interstate for batteries that we use in our electric vehicle projects. We're going to look here in just a second at the truck project that we did last year. Last year they completely removed all the, the factory engine and all the components associated with the uh, internal combustion engine and uh, we fabricated of course another adapter. We have another um, truck, truck project coming up that we're going to do next year if we don't get started on it by the end of this school year. I think any other distributor as, as we all know we're all looking for ways to uh, glean more junks out of uh, the environment and this is just another avenue that we can approach in our lead playbook of, of how to get communities involved in bringing lead right to you.